Philippines uh, Business Council, as well as the Philippines Thailand SUV, and also the executive. Cut down to five minutes, <laughs> in everyone to join and invest in demographic sweet spot. What does that mean? We have a very young population at day and very good singers at night. Uh, next chart, please. Uh, you hear a lot of stories. It's build, build, build. It's a golden age. Then to 30 started. Let's go. Uh, you have uh, almost a skeletal view of uh, the economic conditions uh, in the country of the Philippines. Uh, my role, I think, is just to give you the assurance. There are so many areas, so much space. It is not really what well, the presentation says that uh, more of this and that. But actually, if you want to do business and earn money, uh, Philippines is one of the uh, places which you should consider. Uh, the most important thing is really uh, we to infrastructure spending. You might want to, to take a look at it. And the agricultural sector, especially the manufacturing of agricultural products. But my role actually today is uh, to give you the guarantees that uh, if you go to the Philippines, your business will be protected. And uh, you'll have the return of profits, not limit. And the day when you want to get out, uh, you can have your money uh, with no problems at all. The most important thing I, I, is really that when you go there, uh, I should know. We can always meet for about 10, 15 minutes, you can have coffee, let me know if you are there. And just, uh, it's, uh, you might want to bring uh, somebody from my cabinet and they will do the explaining. But what I can guarantee you is that uh, the used to be that the processing or the pending business applications or whatever to do business in the Philippines would take one or two years especially the economic matter. When I became president, I tasked each and every cabinet member, whether it be defense, uh, transportation, I only give them one month. One month, 30 days, you apply and you just do it. No need for you to go there because I would require the cabinet member himself to see to it that the routing papers are done within that period. Uh, no more, you do not have to go there. You can have your representative submit the documents. And if there is any problem, my request only is that I should know first. You will have access. If you want to talk to me, and he would say that you have this problem. I would give you the time and I would listen. And I would like to know, before anybody else in government would know that you are having problems with one guy, uh, with this uh, secretary and the secretary or director, and the, your agent would tell you that we're having a problem with the tax reward. Let me know. I should like to know in advance so that we can cut the problem there uh, in the back. Uh, so my guarantee is there will be no corruption. There will be no asking of money. And uh, everything should run smoothly. Uh, you can apply there, you can talk to your investment people, maybe the consultants, and then ask for uh, uh, a time with the secretary. And even for five minutes, as said, we are in and uh, we have filed the application. We will keep track. I will certainly keep track of uh, your papers in the government uh, 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 grid. And I do not want uh, delays. I do not want corruption. And I want your business and your money, your investment protected. That is all that we are asking. We have the human resource and uh, we need to have investments in my country so that they can provide the employment. And we have graduates with so many talents. The educational system of the Philippines is 
not uh, really on the top, not Harvard, but just near the Harvard uh, thing. Uh, and, uh, yes, because of uh, proficiency in the English uh, uh, language. <coughs> now, uh, we, have, we have reached the, the time when uh, everything is completed. I cannot understand sometimes uh, uh, the EU, not the Parliament, I, uh, not, not the EU Commission itself, but we're having some problems with the EU Parliament. These are the guys who are the politicians there. And just like any politician everywhere, they make so much noise. And they make so much imposition. And uh, just because of the trade that we, they have with us, they, they keep on harping on so many things to the point of imposing and even in Thailand pressuring your premier for this and for that. And for the uh, other ASEAN countries that you have to do away with the death penalty and all of these things. And they have their own culture which they want to impose on other people. So uh, come uh, ASEAN summit, I would like uh, everybody to invite you to be there. I will take the hard position against the EU. That you cannot impose your culture. You do not impose your own paradigm of what a government should be, especially the East ASEAN countries. They are fun of that and keep on pressuring and even we do do they call him once uh, and then you know, Nabil is also complaining about it and uh, it sometimes do with the death penalty and you know they're suffering the suffering is of their own making they were the the colonizers of the Middle East they were the colonizers of Asia and that is why we have any problem in the Philippines, because it's a, a nation that was colonized by the Spaniards, then the Americans, and given to us. But we have this historical divide because of the colonial days. And yet we are trying to solve the problem within the way that we know how, we, we know best. And here they are, they keep on pressuring government to government. I would like to uh, ask you, and maybe I will de deliver my piece during the summit, that you know, you have to change ways. What is lacking actually in you is the basic fundamentals of courtesy. You do not impose on us Asians because we are better than you. We have not colonized anybody. We have not enjoyed the riches. Now that your nation is over love, then what is the foundation? What was the foundation of building your nation? It's somebody else's property. It was the mine, the mine the, uh, here in, in, in Asia, they were the biggest mine companies uh, under the Dutch, under the British, and, and so the Philippines under the Americans and Spaniards. Those were the building blocks of your country and your economy. And now you try to impose on immorality that is quite incongruous to your behavior. You cannot just say it happened centuries ago, my God! Do not answer us with that kind of statement. The, the, the way that you are powerful now, most of the things that the oil uh, of the Arabs, uh, the money went to you. And in the Middle East, you occupied us. With our wealth, resources, you built your nation. And now you say that it happened many years ago, let us forget it. And you try to impose on us. Threatening always trade, 
you know, we will survive. I can trade with Thailand for the money and whatever. I can trade with Korea, Japan. And we will survive as nations, very rich nations someday. We do not need them. So the, the first, they, they, they stole our uh, the minerals of our country, the riches of our country, the little of the fat of the land of my country. And now you tell us what to do. So we are better off. Uh, I would rather have you in my country doing business. If you become more powerful, more money, then it also means that more work and more happiness for the Filipinos, even as just workers. In the meantime, that we are, uh, have been de developed into industry. So that is my take for the day. I will uh, guarantee, you, and that is a personal commitment, that the rules base must be followed to a T. So if it's 30 days, it's 30 days. And if you get the permit, you get the BIR, it's three days, two days. And if possible, two hours. Clearances. Clearances should come in a, in a GV. At once. We do not have to wait for so many hours. That is my guarantee. And you will be protected. Nobody will hassle you with anything. Not the internal revenue guys, not any other entity, because I answer for everything. So if there's a problem at the first blush, let me know. Talk to me, and I will solve it immediately. That is my guarantee to you, and you will have the return of your profits, a fair tax system, and if you are not satisfied, do not uh, bundle your things and go home. Let me know first if we can solve the problem. Uh, I tell you there's nothing better than a dialogue between two nations and two peoples. We value and we like, like to know, would like to you to know. The Philippines is a fair and loyal friend. And Thailand has been good to us always. Thailand in the days past uh, was there when they had this crisis about rice. Thailand and Vietnam readily, without any say, any, any more, more to say, just help us. And we are the people who remember gratitude. We remember you and we would like to treat you not as foreigner businessmen, but our brother. We are brothers as a matter of fact. When I look at you, I'm trying to look at the other side, and uh, I cannot even discern who is a Thailander and who is a Filipino. <laughs> so, even by the looks of it, uh, actually, we can work. And I assure you that I said uh, the Philippines is a fair country, and we are a lawyer friend. Thank you. President, uh, you cannot get any better than that. On identifying and removing trade and investment obstacles to improve economic conditions and investment climate in Thailand. Just see, CIB also aims to promote in Thailand and the Republic of the Philippines. We are essentially aware that we cannot depend on the other part of the world. So um, <coughs> actually we promote trade, investment, uh, and agriculture and services. We are strengthening the uh, community-based society and the corruption values. Our member network, as I already mentioned, 76 provinces. And we also have 130 trade associations with more dialogue in the near uh, future. The five-year plan covers several areas, including the digital banking to support. This excellency, who is this promise? 
it is my great honor and privilege in promoting the bilateral trade and uniqueness. Last night, Mr. President, I witnessed the warmth and sincerity of the relationship that you have with the Thai Prime Minister. We were all touched. The trade and investment between our two countries. As we Yeah, let me just start another statement, which is really uh, a popular notion of uh, the business uh, circles, especially international scene. Uh, from all uh, folk had experience before uh, in the past administrations, uh, it has always been a uh, favorite uh, uh, statement of uh, the diplomats and even the business uh, men that uh, the Republic of the Philippines does not own of contracts, or it violates contracts purposely. Let me assure you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that the Constitution itself provides that no, there shall be no impairment of the obligation of contracts. I just don't know why this uh, sacred, uh, which is written on the Constitution itself has not been honored by some presidents. But uh, uh, let me assure you again, uh, before we part ways, that we will honor obligations and contracts. And uh, uh, it will be, uh, I said, uh, exactly what it says. Uh, you need not have nightmares and worries to work on. It will be easy in the Philippines. We guarantee you that if there's anybody who will get rich, it will be first you with your investment and maybe uh, on the fringe uh, benefit uh, the workers who can find the work. Very nice. Thank you. 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 Thank you.